Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. That's right, it is throw. Back Thursday. And on this day, I like to dig deep into the crates, go back to the days of yesteryear, and play you some classic hits. Now, this first one, I might only get to uh, do one tonight because I wasn't feeling well and I basically just slept the whole day. Today's my day off, so, you know, I can do that on my day off. I can do whatever I want. No shit, Jet. No shit. But um, I was looking into videos to do for tonight, and I remember that about three years ago i did a video and the video got a copyright strike on it it happens to be the only copyright strike that i've ever had on my channel and i started to look into it uh tonight and i was like well why was that yeah and so the song was by a group called bvsmp and the song was called i need you now, this song came out in 88, and I would have been about 19 years old, and this was like the soundtrack of my summer back in 1988. That's my song. What? Oh, that's my song, y'all. Yo, that's my song. Oh, no. So I go back and look at the, the thing, and I, I'm the only one that can actually view this video, and it's in the little bitty box. I can't re look at it anywhere else. And I went to click on it about the complainant, and it was a company called DMH Music. And, and, you know, I thought about, you know, contacting them, but then I noticed that when I typed in the song title and then typed in DMH Music, the error that I made is that I clicked on one of their videos and that's the one that I used in my reaction. And there are other versions that are not theirs. So when I actually put that through the YouTube filter, it said, we don't have a problem with this. And then I tried the original video that I did and it went back through the filter and now it says like, you can share monetization if you use their particular video. And I'm like, fuck that shit. But you know, might go like, Steven, why would you even take the chance of trying to do that again? Yeah. And it was basically like, you know what? This is a great song. And not a lot of people might not know this because as far as what I'm showing, and I'll get ready to tell you that, um, it didn't chart in the United States. I can't find a single chart of the Billboard or anything else like that where this charted in the United States, but it did worldwide. And it is such, to me, such a good song, even though it sounds like a, a cartoon character or something like that singing it. So that's, that's the reason why. So let's take a look at what this song did on the charts. Kick the ballistic G. And Balamo. It went to number three in the UK, number seven in Ireland, number 32 in France, number seven in the Netherlands, number 13 in Belgium, number three in Germany, number 25 in, I guess, Austria, number 25 in Sweden, uh, one particular chart, or no, that's Switzerland and then number 14 in Sweden. So this song was major anywhere outside the US, but I was living in Colorado Springs in uh, the summer of 88 when this song came out. And again, this was like the soundtrack to my life. Uh, now, there is a longer version of this, which would have been the ones I would have been hearing in the club in 1988, and it was the one you wanted to groove to or whatever. But, you know, I'm not gonna take the chance because every one of the ones where I saw it was an extended mix, happened to be from DMH music. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna fuck with them at all when it comes to this particular song. So if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm trying to do at least 10 videos each and every week. So without any further ado, here is BV SMP, 
and I need you. Come on. What? D don't do that, man. Uh-uh, baby. Come on, don't do that. I have to. Yo, hey, take this out. <laughs> was I Need You by BBS and P. Now, I might have had a little lip syncing issues with that, but that's only because the version I have in my head is the longer version uh, because it has, you know, sometimes it breaks it down, it takes out the vocals and you just hear the beat, nothing else. And it's, it's a really, really tight mix. But there's also another thing out there. Um, there, there are certain videos that uh, attribute this song to having Stevie B on the track. Now, I had to go to who sampled, and it's showing that no, Stevie B is not on the track. Stevie B actually covered this song uh, after, in the same year, after the song came out, Stevie B came out with a version called I Need You. It doesn't have as much uh, of a you know, hip hop feel to it. It just has more of a, you know, a, a lyrical, uh, just an R&B song. So there's that misconception that, you know, because when you hear it, especially back in the day, Stevie B was really, really popular back in the day. So when you hear it, you almost think like, is that Stevie B or is that not? And again, we didn't have things like Google or Who Sampled or anything like that. So we really couldn't tell. And so it was basically like maybe 
you, people are like, well, I think that's Stephen Bean, but I just don't quite know. But no, it is not, because there is a version of Stevie Bean's for, uh, particular one. So, what did you guys think? Did you like it or not? I would encourage you to go check out the longer version of this, uh, because you'll see how much of a group it is. So, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.